So guys, I took yesterday off. It was live Friday and I'm here in Kent now. I'm just leaving Jody's place and I'm going on a bit of a road trip. Let's go. Well, here we are back on the hot muggy streets of New York. So I had this big rant planned for when I got out of the car finally in York because it took me eight hours and the driving was just like brutal. It was such a challenge. But then as soon as I got here, like all the negativity went away because it looks so cool. It might have taken me twice as long as it should have to get here, but I'm here now. And my hotel's Dean Court right here. There's the cathedral behind me. It looks unbelievable. So no negativity coming up, only positivity in photography. And uh, I guess the bad news is that I miss sunset because it took so long to get here, but I think the blue hour is going to be unbelievable. So let's get my stuff into the hotel room and then we'll go out and shoot something. It's kind of comical right now. I think there was like horse races or something in town and everybody's dressed all fancy. And because I didn't have time to get ready after the drive, I'm wearing like track pants and like an athletic shirt and looks so out of place. Kind of hilarious. Obviously I also didn't have time to like location scout at all. So I'm scrambling. I've got maybe like 15 minutes left to photograph and have no idea what I'm doing. No idea where I'm looking. So I'm just gonna run around. The safe bed is the cathedral which is right beside me. And, and I guess I can shoot that if I have to. Also, it's Friday and I always mention that I do these live Fridays now. So I'm vlogging today, but I also have to do my live video, which starts in like five minutes. So I got to set up somewhere because I'm going to do a live tutorial on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, check me out there. I actually do these live videos, live tutorials on Instagram more than just live Fridays. I do them quite a bit, usually when I'm kind of bored. So, And yeah, this is really beautiful. Just have to find somewhere to photograph it. So I realized I don't have time to location scout. I'm just gonna shoot the classic image or I don't even know what the classic image is because I haven't done any research on York at all. But I'm gonna shoot like the cathedral. There's somebody giving like a really dramatic story over here. <laughs> There's a dude dressed like a witch giving some story. As I mentioned, I'm not gonna run around too much because I just don't have time to location scout. Instead, I'm gonna shoot this image do the live now and then actually I'm gonna turn this into a two-part episode or like a two-day episode. Tomorrow morning I'll get up for sunrise and shoot somewhere else in York. So this video will be about photography in York. Let's get the gear set up and get some shots. The live on Instagram was a lot of fun. There's gonna be another live next Friday, I hope. And that's gonna be on Twitter, which is actually Periscope. I'm gonna to try to do like different styles of live Fridays every week. So this week it was live on Instagram. When I go on Instagram, it's gonna be a live on location photo tutorial. When I go live on YouTube, it's gonna be like a podcast style where, where I'll bring on another photographer or friend or somebody and do like a live Q and A podcast style. And then on Facebook, it's gonna be Q&A style. And then on Periscope, it's kinda of gonna be like a tour. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna be next um, on the first. I think I get home to Calgary and maybe I'll just give you like a quick tour of my home city. And that might be cool on Periscope. So um, be sure to follow me on Twitter so that you know when that happens. But there'll be information on the vlog about it as well. Um, because I got here so late and I didn't get great photos because of it, I'm gonna go around and location scout the old town of York right now. 
and then I'll get up and shoot sunrise again in the morning and take you guys with me on the same vlog carrying this one over in the morning. So let's go check out town and see if we can find some cool compositions in the dark. If you follow the channel a lot, you know I talk a lot about this, how when I have a grumpy day, sometimes just going out and shooting pictures just like makes everything better. And that's exactly what I needed today. And I think that's why I was like super positive still when I got out of the car. I was grumpy the entire trip, the entire way, just because there was so much traffic and people were driving like idiots. But at the same time, I knew I had photography to look forward to when I got here. So it was like, you know, I'm stuck in traffic, but at least I, I travel and take pictures for a living. So you can't complain. My life is so good and I love it. So feeling really good about York. York is really cool. I think there's probably more bars than there are people though. It's amazing how many pubs there are. I think I found some cool locations to shoot at sunrise and dawn. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel and catch some sleep. Ooh, I got no more than like 30 minutes of sleep last night. Just could not fall asleep. Um, but I'm up again and going to take pictures. There's a part of town called The Shambles and it's like this really narrow alley. And I think it'll look cool for a wide angle shot while the light's really blue, like it is. There's like nobody up, but of course there's an ambulance. <laughs> Ruining my take. Uh, so that's the first destination on this morning photo walk here in York. The light's really beautiful and blue right now and I think that was a pretty cool shot of the shambles. I'm gonna run down and uh, shoot another location that looks like a classic location, but I think it's up on the wall and the wall is closed until eight, so I'm not sure I'll be able to shoot it. We'll see. I was complaining off camera the other day to some friends that the pubs and the bars closed down so early here in England. It's kind of crazy to me, like 11 p.m. and they're already pushing you out of the pub and a lot of the bars close at midnight. And it's kind of strange, but I'm definitely noticing a huge benefit right now shooting sunrise and dawn. In Europe, usually when I'm shooting dawn on a Saturday or even a Tuesday, there's like drunk people out on the streets just going home from the club and you don't have that at all here. So even though when I went to bed last night, everybody was going out to the pubs, everybody was partying, they're all home now. So I kind of have the streets to myself and that's really nice to not have to like work around drunks on your dawn photography. So I'm basically up on the castle wall and I was going to come here for blue hour but I thought that there was going to be a gate closing this because the rest of the wall is closed. I'm going to run ahead, hope I catch the last bit of blue light but this is awesome spot here because you've got the castle wall, oh and it is closed ahead. I'm going to take a risk here, that's a cool shot but I think that maybe I can at least climb up on this grass 
in front of the castle wall on the other side and get a better angle. Doing so means I'm gonna miss this last bit of blue light, I think. But hopefully I'll get a sunrise. A little bit cloudy, but I'm positive as long as I move quick. Like I could totally ninja climb up this wall. I could totally do that. Hmm. Do I ninja climb up the wall? No dice. It's like walled all the way up here. I guess this is why they build castle walls to keep people out. Uh, in three. Since I couldn't get up onto the wall where I wanted, I had to settle for this location. What I really wanted was like the wall leading into the cathedral, which is way back that way and still lit, thankfully. And you can get that from way back there, but it's blocked off. <laughs> and I could probably ninja climb up there, but I don't want to get arrested today. So I'm parked in front of the Grand Hotel and I'm trying to do something a little bit different since I don't have the location perfect. I've got a 70 to 200 millimeter lens and that's gonna compress the landscape and make the cathedral look bigger and make everything look tighter together. And then I'm playing with the light with a three stop medium grad ND filter and a six stop ND. And it's actually a four minute exposure. And the reason I want the four minute exposure is just because since the blue hour is dead, I'm trying to time something. The lights are still on on the cathedral and sunrise is happening that way. So I'm trying to get like this crazy motion in the sky some sunrise light and the lights on in the, ca in the cathedral. I'm afraid they're gonna turn the lights off on the cathedral really soon, so I really only got one, maybe two chances at this. So this was kind of a bust. Sunrise is, um, it's okay. It's just a little bit bland. It, the clouds kind of disappeared on me and that happens sometimes. It was still fun to get out and shoot. I just wish I could have gone through that gate. That would have been so good. But again, I know my locations if I ever come back to York on assignment. I'm not on assignment here. I'm kind of just hanging out because on tomorrow's episode, which is actually in like a couple hours in real time, I'm heading up to the Lake District to meet up with another YouTube photographer and we've got a collaboration for at least a day, maybe a couple days up in the Lake District and that should be a lot of fun. So I hope to see you guys on those episodes. I'll see you later. Peace.